Hey, how you doing? Austin here. I'm not a financial advisor. This video is for entertainment purposes only. As you can tell, I am not at my usual location. I'm actually on vacation uh, this week with my family in Colorado. So uh, I will be coming to you from a little bit different location, but still bringing you the videos. We're going to talk about Shiba Inu in this video. and We're going to talk about the fact that it is still down. Not hugely surprising to me. Uh, this is one of those scenarios where I firmly believe that we're going to continue to see uh, a little bit of downward pressure, as I've already said in previous videos, uh, specifically because we're basically waiting on the catalyst to reinstate from uh, Coinbase, but also, frankly, uh, the overall market, as you can see, is flat. The overall market is down, you know, four, five, six plus percent. Bitcoin, Ethereum, both down four, uh, you know, four percent and four percent respectively. Binance down. 4%, Cardano 4%, Dogecoin 4%. You can kind of see a theme starting to develop. Polkadot 6.3%. Um, you know, Litecoin down 4, Solana down 6. You know, I've already said this in previous videos, but I want to keep reiterating it because I know I get new people coming in and watching those videos. And I also know there's a lot of you guys out there that are, you know, looking for my videos to kind of be the voice of reason uh, in this overall crypto market uh, scenario that we see playing out. And I'm, again, not concerned. This is a situation where we've just got some downward pressure on the overall market and if we go over to datamish.com you guys know that i uh, use datamish quite a bit and looking at kind of the overall state of the union and so uh, this has been a trend line developing if we look at say 90 days we've got 24,000 short shorting action short selling positions say that really fast 48,000 uh, long selling positions and if you look at this chart here you can see that Bitcoin has started to kind of drop just a little bit we peaked at about 40,000 we knew that and now we're down in the 36,000 range right and so I think that this is a direct corollary to the short selling positions that are putting pressure on Bitcoin and Ethereum and things like that well you're like hey Austin I'm here to I'm here to talk about Shiba Inu well of course you are but you always have to remember that where the rest of the market goes, what happens with Bitcoin and Ethereum and things like that and, you know, overall state of the union of the market, it impacts Shiba, okay? Because if you look at Shiba Inu right now, it is at 7209, down 7.65%. 7, 7 now, you know what happened with Coinbase? We, I think that Coinbase um, was supposed to bring Shiba online to their Coinbase Pro trading platform yesterday, Thursday, that did not happen, they sent out a tweet specifically talking about the fact that they needed to, um, they needed to, they, they were having some technical issues, etc. I think that they were looking at all of potentially issues with, uh, you know, trading volume and things like that. I think that they were, I think they got a little spooked, not in a bad way, but I think they got spooked from the standpoint that, hey, when this does hit our network, when it hits our exchange, we've got to have our act together. Because remember, we've got millions of Lot, we've got a lot, millions and millions of dollars, but we've got a ton of uh, accounts in CoinMarket.com. Remember, Coinbase Pro is the different than Coinbase.com, and then Coinbase.com and the app are, are, are the are the same, right? And so, where I'm going with this is that there is a tremendously large amount of uh, people who buy and sell crypto who only have Coinbase accounts. Okay, so where am I going with this? I'm going with the fact that. You know, we've got to kind of wait uh, and and see how this plays out. I'm not concerned. I think that they're going to absolutely continue to bring SHIB onto the the Coinbase network. Um, and and I don't think I don't think they're rethinking this or anything like that. You know, we've also got Robinhood out there, which I think now that Coinbase has done it, I think Robinhood is not going to be very far behind. Uh, no, I don't have a time frame on that. And uh, as far as a price prediction, you know, guys, we've got to kind of, uh, we've got to get here to the one spot. The one spot's in the 100,000th position, right? So the seventh spot is in the millionth position. We got to get to the, where we got to get to a one in the 100,000th. I'm going to remind you because I always do, and you, and you need to be reminded of this from the standpoint of this is kind of a, the, you know, of, again, a voice of reason comment coming out here is that our all time high was in the three, you know, three, four, three, one kind of range. That's where the three was sitting here in the uh, hundred thousand spot. Okay. Now, from the catalyst that we have out there with Coinbase Pro, Coinbase, those are two different catalysts, by the way, Coinbase Pro and then Coinbase, two, two catalysts right there. Then we have Robinhood, three catalysts. 
Uh, and then we have fourth catalyst, obviously, Shibaswap, okay? Um, there was some news that came out the other day that uh, Shitoshi had sent out, uh, I believe, a tweet, and he was talking about the fact that the, certi the, that the, that the certification uh, was moving along very, very nicely. So that was pretty cool, all right? So uh, I didn't get a chance to talk about that live yesterday because I was traveling yesterday and all that kind of stuff, but uh, it is worth mentioning that was discussed. So it looks like we're absolutely moving forward as well with the certification process, um, specifically around that. So that's good stuff, okay? All right, so what else do we need to talk about? We need to talk about the fact that the chart looks, you know, is what it is kind of right now. I'm not dismissing that, but, you know, if you look at kind of what what happened here, you know, we, we hit this low, we kind of bounced sideways for just a little bit. And then we continue to kind of present this type of pattern. And again, I stated that this was possibly going to happen, okay? Uh, in previous videos, I've talked about this at length. This is not hugely concerning to me, okay? This is a situation where um, I've said that this would happen. I said that I think I, I, that this would, we might continue to have some downward pressure on Sheba specifically as it relates to the overall pressure on the market. Because again, I'm going to stay say this up front uh, or an additional, right? We don't have an issue right now with Sheba. We don't have an issue really with any cryptos. It's just that I said this the other day, you know, I think of it this like this way, the retail money has left the building, okay? A lot of investor has ha, have left the building. I think they've left the building for various reasons. It's summer, people are traveling, people are, you know, doing vacation, things like that. Um, there's an old saying, make your money in May and then go away. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard that saying. Uh, it's been around the stock world for forever. You know, like basically uh, May's really busy and then everybody kind of checks out in June, right? And kind of a little bit maybe even in July. And I think that there's a certain amount of truth in that. I think that there's some some validity to that. And I think, you know, overall though, we've just got to kind of play out and see how this plays out with the with the overall market condition you know, again, this is where I, this is guys, this is the first place I look at whenever I'm getting ready to do a video or I'm like, hey, what's going on with the overall market? I come over and I look at coin market cap and I look at right here and I go, OK, yep, we're a little flat. And that makes sense because every body is a little flat. If we look at the news, shift our attention to the news. Um, look at this. There's an article. The rise of Shiba Inu coin shows cryptos new dynamics. OK, so let's see what they've got to say over on Barron's. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. So they're talking about it has started as, you know, Doge started as a joke. Uh, let's see. Gotta get rid of that. How do I get... There we go. Okay. Um, I'm just reading this. So they're really just kind of, they're talking about the overall kind of Shiba Inu and their wolf paper and all this kind of stuff. Um, so 52, 520,000 strong. Yep. We know that. Um... Yeah, okay, so this is specifically talking about it's kind of a brave new world because Shiba Inu, which is a community coin, a meme coin, um, you know, being listed on Coinbase, um, you know, that's probably kind of a very, very, uh, very big deal. Oh, look at this. A Robinhood spokesman said the company had no comment on the petition in a previous Reddit discussion. Robinhood crypto COO Christine Brown wrote, we're always looking into which coins to add to Robinhood crypto, but for security and compliance is the reason we can't talk about the one we're adding. <laughs> but don't you know that the Robin Hood people are sitting over there and they're just crazy, you know, looking at this going, man, we got to get this thing moving, got to get this moving. You know, this talks about the, the, the Coinbase where they had to uh, fix, quote, technical issues. Look at this. In recent years, Coinbase has been seen as a important gatekeeper in crypto. Uh, and coins have tended to spike in value when they get, get listed on the platform. You think? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah, look, Coinbase said the company was concerned about customers going to other platforms if Coinbase doesn't offer certain coins. It quickly listed Dogecoin after the earning call and has been ex expediting the listing process, giving coin creators and users new ways to apply for listings. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like Coinbase is absolutely trying to bring a lot more of these coins because we all know that's kind of a pain in the ass, guys. You know, you've got different exchanges and all those different things trying to trying to you have, you have to have 
you know, if you want that coin over there, you got to go over to that different exchange and things like that. So Coinbase uh, gets it, you know, and uh, so, yeah, we'll see how the rest of this plays out. All right, guys. So to wrap up, uh, you know, we're just continue. I think we're going to continue in this scenario. I, and I'm not overly concerned about this chart. I'm not. Um, you know, if you were looking at this from a buying on the dip scenario and kind of adding to your position, it's probably not a bad idea, depending upon what your investment strategy is. That's not investment advice, right? Uh, but overall, just we'll continue to uh, continue to watch this. I'll continue to bring you guys videos. As I said, remember, I'm on vacation this week, but I'm still here working for you and still here bringing you content. I'll see you later. Take it easy. Bye.